You're, You're watching, watching DM, DM Daddy, Daddy Media. Media. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. We just seen a fantastic performance for the, from the lady of the moment. She's West London's best kept secret. She's soulful, she's sassy, and she's a friend of mine. It's a Benoa. How are you doing, girl? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. <laughs> You had a terrific set just there. Oh, Tunes that I love, songwriting skills that I love. How's it been going? How did it all start? How did it all start? Yep. Well, I mean, I've always, I mean, I've always been musical. My family's really musical. My mum, you know, she got me piano lessons when from the age of four. So I remember when I used to come round, but I've known this girl for a long time. When I used to come round, I used to see you on the piano, oh, all cute and that. Like yeah, yeah. Sad. But anyway, then I like taught myself the guitar and. I kind of got inspired by my uncle who helped me at first to songwrite and showed me, you know, how, you know, to songwrite and what sounds nice and what doesn't. Yeah, yeah. And then I kind of just did it myself. And then um, here I am with a seven piece band and it's growing and yeah. um, there's a buzz going and loads of people came out tonight, which is really good, yeah. promoting it hard. And I just want to take it to the next level, basically. Cool, cool. So you write your own stuff, yeah? All, all the songs you perform tonight, all yours, all written by you. Yeah, I've, you, uh, most of them I wrote on the guitar. There's a couple I wrote on the pi from the you know on the piano, yeah. but all of them, the the arrangement was yeah. um, by me, and then I played them to the band, and then they kind of put their own flavour into it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but yeah, the songs I've written myself. Yeah. The tune that I love the most is "Put Yourself in My Shoes." <laughs> I love the lyrics in that. I love, I love the melody in that. That is so sweet. How long ago did you put that song together and what inspired you to write that song? Well, it's a bit self-explanatory. My boyfriend's going to kill me. But anyway, um, <laughs> basically, I wrote that, I think, last year. And um, it's just about, you know, sometimes when you're in a relationship, you're trying to explain your point of view and the other person's not understanding it and vice versa. Yeah. And, um, you know, there was a situation where I was just trying to make him understand how I might feel. Yeah. And you know he didn't really want to listen, so that kind of inspired me to write the song, and that actually hit him harder when he heard the song. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's just basically, you know, it could be between uh, friends anyway. You yeah. know, yeah. just put yourself yeah. in my shoes and see, and see how, how I feel. Because sometimes people don't understand until yeah. they until they in their shoes experience it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, a lot of people like that song as well. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, 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 you're a female singer, songwriter, multi instrumentalist. Is that a word? I don't know. But um, what other female vocalists do you look up to, do you rate, or who would you like to work with? You know, it's funny because um, a lot of people ask me who's like your fa favorite female vocalist. Um, there is a lot of good female vocalists, a very, you know, Shaka Khan, like, you know, Whitney Houston, but I actually get inspired by male vocalists. And like, one in particular, I love Rashawn Patterson. Not a lot of people, I don't think, know about him, but he's- I do. Oh, that's good. He's written loads of songs, like for Brandy, for Tevin Campbell, for- yeah. Loads of people done backing for loads of people and have, you know, about three or yeah. four albums now. Yeah. And I just think he's wicked. Another guy I, I feel is Raphael Sadiq. Yeah. I, get, I mean, I've been inspired by his albums and the music he did with Tony Tony. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and Lucy Pearl. And Lucy Pearl. And I love Bjork and Jeff Buckley. Woo! Because, because I kind of get the neo soul vibe from you. Yeah. You're not like pop, R&B, oh, I'm wearing a suit and got a dance routine. You're very like raw and, and soulful, and that's the kind of style I like. Is, is that where you come from? Is that the angle you want to go to? 
Yeah, I think, I mean, it's just natural. All the things that I've been listening to, because if, like, the whole set, you experience a bit of Latin, you experience a bit of rock, you yeah. experience a bit of folk, and then you experience a bit of blues and jazz. Yeah. And that just reflects me as a person. And I love all different kinds of music, and I try to see, you know, the yeah. good in all of them, yeah, if you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I think that reflects in my set. So it is very much soul-based, but then there's always little flickers of other types of music, <laughs> yeah. which I think that's why people like it, yeah. because it's not just straight. It's there's not, always yeah, something yeah. A pinch of this, gonna, a pinch of exactly. that. Yeah, 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 so yeah. everyone can like it, you know, yeah, which yeah. I think is good, good about the music. Good, good, good. So what's your MySpace? Let the camera know. And where can we catch you again? Okay, well, my MySpace is, you know, you know www.myspace.com forward slash, and then it's Abenoa1, so it's O, B for bus, E for elephant, N for nothing, E, W, A, and the number one. So have you got an album out or coming or an EP or, you know, what's going on? Well, I think the plan is for me is to do lots of gigs, get a lot of people to know, just not, West, not just West London. Um, I'll be doing some more shows in, all around London and then um, kind of start my album, I think, in the new year, like January. I mean, everything's basically set. All we need is a good recording studio, yeah. and then we just perform. It's like a performance, basically, yeah. Yeah. what we're going to yeah. do, and maybe put a few program stuff in, if need be. Yeah. But I'd love to get some live strings. Any live, any violin, like strings, people, please contact me, because you know I love strings to the max, and that's what I want as well, yeah. and horn section. And then the album's <laughs> just ready. There you go, chords, look. See, she's looking for strings, chords, everyone to make the tune, make it happen for a Benoit. I'll say the best kept secret in London. You need to check this girl out. She's massive, she's big. Check her out, Mr. Lucas, a Benoit. We out. Check it out.